Okay, so I really thought I need I needed to make this video because this trade is insane. I mean, the Knicks traded away Chris Tops for Zingis. I mean, who would have thought that he would be traded this year? Like, it is insane. And the thing is that the Mavericks won by a huge margin. They, they The Mavericks got Porzingis, they got Tim Hardaway Jr., they got Courtney Lee on the trade. It is insane, like, how in the world did the Mavericks pull this off? How? <laughs> it, 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 I, I just cannot, I, I just, it, I just cannot put it in my mind right now. It is so unbelievable. And how, I mean, the Knicks got back DeAndre Jordan, they got back uh, Wesley Matthews, and Dennis Smith Jr. I mean, how much of a consolation is this for trading away Chris Tops for Zingas? I would say it's not it's not enough. In fact I would say that they made a mistake by adding too much to this trade. I mean they traded away three players and the and the and the and, and the Mavericks traded three players of their own. Like how in the world? Tell me this. How in the world are you gonna win now? You no longer have that promising elite player that could attract a lot of a lot of uh, potential players to go to your team. You might say, well, you know, the New York market, you know, it's gonna help a lot. It doesn't work like that in sports as much. I mean, you no longer have that player that can attract a superstar to go to your team. The under Jordan is not going to do that job. In fact, I might say that he might just say, I'm not going to play here for long. Or for that long, like, you know. I, I just don't really see him. I, I, I just don't see the next winning anytime soon during the next few years. I mean, it was already that the case just like that. But at the very least, you had Kristaps Porzingis, as you know, as a, as a, as a bait to bring in future superstars to, to your team, and now you don't have that leverage. Right now, you're gonna have to find a way to build a team with with what you have in there. You don't have much. The only option you have is tanking for the rest of the season. That's that's it. You don't have you don't have anything else on the table. Well, let me just take one second to say, I mean, to ask all of you, have you seen the videos from Mike Korzemba? I mean, if you've seen videos from Mike Korzemba for a while, you know that he does a few what if videos here and there. In one of his what if videos, he has Kristaps Porzingis going to the Dallas Mavericks. And, and the thing is that ever since he started doing those what if videos a while ago a lot of the scenarios that he has of players going to certain teams or certain players joining other players that they have actually gone through I mean and one of them is Porzingis going to Dallas I mean I, I don't know how in the world it, I don't know what the heck's going on with this. I mean, a lot of things that he has predicted that could have happened have actually happened. I mean, I I just cannot put it in my mind to to, to even put it. I mean, on one of the occasions he put in, you know, as if it were to, uh, you know, uh, Paul George was gonna be uh, a member of the Oklahoma City Thunder. This wasn't a scenario where. Kevin Durant was not gonna be with the Thunder and said he was gonna be with another team. I mean, I, I, I'm not sure, uh, maybe it was in a scenario where he ended up going to the Hawks for some reason, maybe, I'm not sure, I, I don't remember what scenario that was. But there was another scenario where uh, 
In an alternate universe, Kristaps Porzingis would be drafted by the Dallas Mavericks. Let's just say, a lot of scenarios have played out just like this in, in, in real life. Paul George did indeed become a Thunder. Kristaps Porzingis did, uh, is now going to be a Maverick. And, 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 and who knows how many more scenarios have actually played out in which he's played in his, in his what if videos. Like, I'm not sure what's going on here. Like, like is, 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 does he have some type of time machine or something? Like, sure, he, he may be talking about things that could have been in the past. But somehow, some way, he's predicted the future. Maybe it's not, maybe it's not his intention to predict the future, but he somehow, some way, found a way to predict the future. Maybe accidentally, of course, but I mean, I I, I just have I, I just have no words. I have no words whatsoever for this. Like 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 like, like what's next? Andrew Wiggins going to the to the Lakers? Uh, what else? Uh, there could be a lot of scenarios playing out. You know, a lot of scenarios indeed. Uh. Uh, Carmelo Anthony going to the Pistons. That's a scenario. I mean, I mean, I, I just, I really don't know. I mean, I mean, okay, that that's different part video. I just wanted to bring in that connection, you know, just so, just so you guys know about Mike Corzemba. You might say this is a shout out to him. That was not really my intention at all, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, but yet the Knicks lost a big time in this in this trade. Without a show without a show of doubt in my mind, they lost this trade by a long shot. How in the world will you trade away a piece that could be the that could be the reason why you might actually have a chance to get back into the swing of things. You had a chance to have a player who, in which could give you the leverage to bring superstars, or at least all-stars, to your team. You don't have that anymore. Best case scenario, Ennis Cantor and DeAndre Jordan. That's it. Nobody else is going to do the job. You're basically toast for the next year at the very least. And I don't think you're in a good position to be tanking to get the number one overall draft pick. To get, you know, to, in, in the sweepstakes, to get Zion Williamson. You're basically toast. It is what it is. Now let's go into the Dallas Mavericks side, in which I'm not sure I've discussed this enough. The Mavericks hit a home run here. You know, they no longer have to worry about, oh, when is, uh, when is, uh, Dirk no Nowitzki gonna retire? I mean, he could teach, uh, he could teach, uh, Kristaps Porzingis a few things. Who knows? Uh, but, you know, they, they just did a great job with this game. Let, let me just put it this way. Now they have a team that could go into the playoffs. Maybe not this year, but maybe next year they maybe they build upon it a little bit more. Maybe they will go to the playoffs. But man, oh man, I, I, I just did not see this coming. I, I just I don't know how the hell this happened. Uh, or what was the next mindset? Or, or I'm not even sure if the Mavericks thought this was even possible to begin with. It, it, it's it's that incredible that it happened in the first place I mean the other pieces that the Mavericks got Tim Hardaway Jr. Uh, and, and this other player uh, Courtney Lee I mean the Mavericks struck gold in this pick at the or or they, they got a good trade at the very least this this should have been in a scenario where if you're gonna trade Kristaps Porzingis to the Mavericks, you should have considered maybe trading him alone for other pieces. 
Right now, however, your team is a lot worse because you did this trade. Because you decided to go three for three. Three players for of you, uh, three players of your team for three players of my team. But guess what? One of those players that was on your team is actually a player that can trans that could that has the potential to transform a franchise. Maybe in the next year or two you might just become that type of player. It just has that feeling to it. I mean I I wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised if five to six years down the road the Dallas Mavericks ended up winning an, an, an NBA finals because of this trade. You know with their teams that have this and everything but they have the trade. Where it the where the entire scenario where the entire future of the franchise for both teams changed. I mean it happened to the Celtics. It happened to the Lakers, it happened to the Bulls. And now, maybe five years down the road, we might be looking back at this trade and saying this was the trade for the Dallas Mavericks. Let's just see how things play out. All I want to say is thank you so much for watching this video. This was a video that I re I would I'm really talking about right now. The news happened some time ago, maybe a few hours ago. But I really want all of you to understand all this. If you enjoyed this video, please like the video, share this video on social media, please. Comment down what you think of this trade, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. See you guys next time with another video. Peace.